This is Bob Dwyer of the Carbon Monoxide Safety Association again. Uh, we're here with part two of the TPI Model 780 low-level CO monitor review. Uh, when does it sound off? What is the silence feature? We're going to cover all of that. You know, low-level CO detection means just what it says. Uh, we live in a combustion-based culture, and low-level carbon monoxide exposure is quite common. So I really want you to feel comfortable with this detector in your hand. Uh, you may be experiencing carbon monoxide in your own home. Um, if you take it places, uh, pay attention. Uh, you can use this detector as a great learning device as well about carbon monoxide safety. How close are you living to major highways or roadways? Carbon monoxide measured inside with your 780 could be coming from outside. Take your detector outside if it's not freezing temperatures or over 104 degrees Fahrenheit and see what you have around you. It may be zero, it may be not. And keep it out of the rain or away from moisture. You know, maybe a car is warming up alongside a house and the exhaust is blowing up against the siding or near a door or window. If you don't believe it, you can test the situation for yourself with a 780 low-level CO detector. If you ever feel necessary to call a fire department when your 780 is beeping, please note the levels on the digital display and inform them when you call that you have a low-level CO detector. If you have additional CO detectors in your home, and I highly recommend that you do, and they have not made a sound when your 780 low-level monitor has, remember, they most likely are high-level detectors. Their lowest alarm set point, and look at their packaging. Some of them have them on the outside, and some of them you have to look, you have to read the instructions to find the set points. They're at 70 parts per million. Now, they must resist alarming for one hour. And then they can take up to four hours to sound off, and that's what the listing requires. Now, with a low-level detector, you don't have to wait for that. You can find out early, find out what the problem is, and get, out, get it fixed or get out. Just like it says, it's a visual and digital display begins at zero and goes up to 200 parts per million on that display. Above 200 parts per million of CO measured, the display reads high. 0 to 9 ppm, there's a visual display, but there's no alarm. The green LED will flash once per minute, always when there's power. At 10 parts per million and above, it's alarm ready. There'll be an audible alert in less than one minute. Often it beeps around 30 seconds. At 10 parts per million and above, a red LED flashes once per minute. The 780 is in alarm condition. Audible warnings begin. At 10 to 24 parts per million, there'll be one series of four beeps every minute for four minutes, and then followed by an auto silence for 24 hours, if still in this range. If it's still in the 10 to 24 part per million after 24 hour range, uh, the silence is released, or it's overridden to one series of four beeps every minute for four minutes, and then it goes back to the 24-hour silence. The red LED continues to flash once per minute, even while it's in silence. And this sequence will continue if CO levels remain in this 10 to 24 part per million range, or until the batteries die. If the four beeps every minute is interrupted by depressing of the silence button, the 24-hour silence will begin immediately. Though silenced for 24 hours, the red LED continues to notify it is alarm ready. If this level of CO exceeds 24 parts per million, the silence will be released or overridden. This goes to the next alarm in silence range. This next alarm range is 25 to 34 parts per million of carbon monoxide, and there's an 8-hour silence associated with this after the first 4 minutes. Again, 25 to 34 parts per million, there'll be one series of four beeps every minute for four minutes. And then there's an auto silence for eight hours if it's still within this range. The red LED flashes once per minute, even if it's silenced. If the 25 to 34 parts per million after eight hours, the silence is released to one series of four beeps every minute for four minutes, and then to eight hour silence again. 
It continues this sequence if the range remains. Pressing silence pad will interrupt beeps and auto silence begins immediately. The next alarm range is 35 to 50 parts per million associated with a one hour silence after the first four minutes. Now I had to use this in my little laboratory. Uh, I stuck a uh, container that I have uh, fashioned for taking high levels of carbon monoxide so I can contain the gas and still take a picture of the results. Uh, 35 to 50 parts per million. There'll be one series of four beeps every 30 seconds for four minutes followed by an auto silence for only one hour if it's still within this range of 35 to 50 parts per million. The red LED flashes once per minute. Pressing the silence pad will interrupt the beeps and auto silence begins immediately but again it's for a one hour silence. You should be concentrating on getting people outside and calling 911. Do not go back inside without self-contained breathing apparatus. You know, in my travels, uh, fire departments are putting their breathing apparatus on anywhere from 10 to 35 parts per million, for sure before 50 parts per million. Um, you know, so it's important when we get to this next level, we're at 51 to 70 parts per million. There's a, only a four-minute silence. Now, when your UL 2034 listed CO alarms hit 70 parts per million, they have to wait an hour and can take up to four hours to sound off. Well, look, if the fire departments are putting their breathing apparatus on before this level, you should be notified. So that's why it's important you have this low-level protection. Above 50 parts per million and under 70 parts per million, there's four beeps every 20 seconds. There's an auto silence for only four minutes. The red LED flashes twice per minute. The silence press and gives you four minutes. Please pay attention and get out. Don't worry about the annoying sound. You should be concentrating on getting people outside and calling 911. Do not go back inside without self-contained breathing apparatus. Well, now we're in the 70 to 150 part per million range. We have a two-minute silence. So above 70 um, and uh, under 150 parts per million, uh, we've got a four beeps every 20 seconds. There's an auto silence for two minutes. The red LED flashes four times a minute. Again, we press that silence pad. We only get two minutes. So get out. Call 911. The next range, 150 to 200 parts per million, there's only a one minute silence. Again, 150 to 200 parts per million, there's four beeps every 20 seconds. Auto silence for a minute. Red flashes five times a minute. You press that silence pad, you only got a minute. Get out, call 911. Once that digital display gets above 200 parts per million, the screen just says hi. And that's for high, like a high concentration. There's four beeps every 20 seconds. The red LED flashes six times a minute. There's only 16, excuse me, 15 seconds of auto silence. You know, you really got to get out. You got to pay attention to these things. Now, your high-level detectors, I've put plenty of them in plastic bags. Believe me, they're not responding and helping and supporting you with this information. You should have one of these. You should have one in every building. I'd consider taking one everywhere you go. You know, nothing like a gift of safety. You know, low-level carbon monoxide monitors given as gifts. You know, what a statement that makes. You may give it to someone, they may not really appreciate it. But if it lets them know that there's carbon monoxide present where they are, believe me, they will appreciate you. There's way too many stories about people perishing from carbon monoxide, being permanently injured because they didn't know it was there or their alarms didn't go off soon enough. You know, from infants to elderly, carbon monoxide safety, it's everybody's business.